Takashi 6 9 found out earlier this week that he will not be released from prison early as him and his lawyer Lance Lazaro was requesting Takashi serve the rest of his 24 month sentence from home. But the judge Paul Ingemar was not rolling with that. 6 ix 9 is going to have to stay in prison until he's released likely in September or October. Obviously, this decision was not to the liking of Takashi 6 9s girlfriend, Jade, who did drop a new picture of Takashi from behind bars and herself, and also a long caption explaining her frustration with the legal system as she does believe her boyfriend 6 9 though he was a part of this racketeering case, Though he agreed to work with the feds and agreed to a plea deal, she believes her guy's being treated wrong. She said, they kidnapped you. She's speaking on a non-trade gang. They had sex with the mother of your child. They got caught on the phone trying to kill you. And they're stealing millions of dollars from you. If you snitch for the rest of your life, people are going to try to kill you for being a rat. But if you don't snitch, you're doing 47 years in prison where they're going to kill you anyway because they already were talking about it. Sammy the Bull kills 19 people and he only gets five years. You kill no one and you get two years. This shit is so effed up. Laughing my ass off, they can't break you. No one understands why people still love and support you. 13 times platinum, 8 times gold, and you had no friends in the industry to start off your career. You told everyone to suck your dick. They know the internet hasn't been the same since you left. I love you, baby. Free you. It's worth knowing that. Meek Millie. Philadelphia's on. Meek Millie has done some time over the last few years. But Meek has held it down. And Meek obviously lives by the street code of no snitching. He commented under the, this post. Or somebody, maybe the shade room, who reposted it. And he said that witness protection drip is A1. Obviously, Meek Mill clowning Takashi 6 9 from behind bars. It's going to be very interesting to see how the rap community treats Takashi 69. He has denied protective custody. So when he gets out, he's free to do whatever he wants. I'm pretty sure there are going to be some social media limitations. But as far as 69 being an artist, he has every right to pursue his rap career that he left, right? When he went, got locked up about a year and some change ago. Now, here's the thing 69 is going to be a known rat, a known snitch. And we've never seen it to this degree in the hip hop community with social media being what it is. It's going to be very interesting to see what guys in the rap community, uh, how they treat 6ix9ine, who's going to be the first artist to work with 6ix9ine. Because look, the dude say what you want. When he gets home, if you get on a record with 6ix9ine, it's going to do 10 million views in a day. All right? I don't care who you is. I don't care what kind of credibility you got. It's going to do 10, 15 million views in a day. What artist is desperate enough for a hit? Who needs to heat up enough to get on a joint with Takashi 69? You know he's gonna have the eyes of everyone. Say what you want. You're gonna go listen to that 69 record at least once. It's gonna go through the roof. I wanna see what the reception is gonna be for 69. Not only him, but the producers, the engineers, and the artists who opt to work with 69. Very interesting stuff. Can't wait to see it. So quick news break with yours truly, Mr. Teleferro. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the coach. I got the kids. They tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.